Have you ever watched one video on YouTube and then it feels like your entire feed has been taken over by that topic? Or maybe there's a favorite creator of yours that you just don't see in your feed anymore? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to take back control and fix your feed in YouTube. Let's go. Here's the deal, YouTube is run by an algorithm designed to keep you watching and engaging with more videos. Not surprisingly, YouTube wants you to keep watching more videos. Now that's cool, and in fact, sometimes you can find things in here that you wouldn't have thought to look up yourself, and it can be fun to hang around in your home tab. But if you want to go for that more old school vibe where you're getting the creators you've subscribed to and the topics you're interested in, jump from the home tab over to the subscriptions tab and let's open up a world of better content. Here in your subscriptions, you will find, not surprisingly, channels that you are subscribed to. So even though there's a few things in here that I maybe still don't want to see, I'm starting to see more music, I'm seeing some hockey, I'm seeing some plane spotting, some scam baiting, some food theory. These are all channels that I actually enjoy. And in fact, I'm seeing some here that I haven't watched in a while. And this is a cool thing you can do to re-engage with maybe some of those channels you've subscribed to but haven't watched in a while. For instance, here's the channel In The Mix, which I actually used to watch and enjoy. It hasn't popped up in my home tab for a long time, and now I can jump in and start watching again. And the cool thing is that this will now retrain that algorithm to start showing me more relevant content. So the more you don't watch things that are served up that you're not interested in and do watch things that you actually are, the better off you'll be. There's a couple of other tips that I have for you here. You can, of course, on the left here, scroll down and see all of the different channels you're subscribed to. And you'll see which ones are live by the red dot there. And on desktop, it looks a little different. It'll have a little live symbol, but very similar. And you can see where there's a channel that you haven't watched some of their content by the blue dot. Now, here's the thing, unless you watch every video on a channel, you're going to have a blue dot, but it is a good way to just see what is new. You'll also notice that here up the top, you can either do this by A to Z, most relevant or new activity. So you can see the more recent videos, which can be really handy. If you tap most relevant there, it will change it up and it will give you things that it thinks you are most interested in which may or may not be correct. Now, what if you want the best of both worlds? Well, I've got a suggestion for you. Let's just say that you're a music fan and you love watching music content like Studio Live today. Well, you can go to your home tab and actually tell it you only want music. So if we tap the music tab at the top here, check this out. It's all the stuff that I like and all of my subscriptions, but it's also going to bring in some things that perhaps I'm not already subscribed to. So it'll give you the best of both worlds, your subscribed channels, but maybe something new or a bit different that you hadn't tried. Of course, if you refresh and go back to all, you get the stuff that you probably don't want to watch. And the cool thing here is it will start to learn your preferences. For instance, if I tap on the iOS tab up here, I'm going to get all iOS related content and the same here with electronic musical instruments. So this is going to change based on your actual preferences. And it means if you're in the mood for something in particular, you can dive in here and find something that's going to be right for you. So there you have it. If your YouTube feed is starting to feel stale, annoying, frustrating, and you want to take back control, simply tap on your subscriptions tab or here on the home tab, set yourself to a particular topic and you'll be gold. And I hope you found this tip useful and it helps your YouTube experience. If you've got your own comments or questions about this or anything related to the world of online music creation, please drop a comment down below and I'll see you next time.